Yo, what's going on guys? And another little interesting thing. So shout out Josh Robbins. He wrote an article for The Athletic, link in the description. What would the Wizards outlook be if they somehow traded for Donovan Mitchell? And I thought, hey, I'm a Wizards fan. We got my Michael Jordan Wizards jersey that I've had since I was like six years old. And look, I think when we look at this, let's just talk about it. I wanna hear your thoughts down below. What do you guys think of this? And what would you give up? I've talked about the fact that well, obviously you can't trade any of the guys they recently traded for or signed. So those guys would stay on the roster if a trade did happen. And the deal would have to be either around Kristaps or Kyle. And I said, I would trade everyone, not name, you know, Bradley Beal or Kristaps Porzingis and who we recently traded and signed because you can't and trade Kyle Kuzma and everybody else, including John Davis. And I said, if we could keep Denny Avdia, please kept, keep Denny Avdia. But let's see what Josh Robbins says and let's talk about it. So the Wizards continue to pop in the Donovan Mitchell trade. And I've said that I'd rather have Kevin Durant than Donovan Mitchell due to the fact that Donovan Mi I'd rather have Kevin Durant because he's from PG. He's a PG County boy. Um, I'm from Baltimore County. He, so I'm from this, well, I live in a rural area, but technically suburbs of Baltimore. He lives in the suburbs of DC. You know, Kevin Durant growing up. But look, what what's the outlook for the Wizards if they trade for Donovan Mitchell? It feels like you would have to give up three first pick, first rounders, a combination of Denny Aptia, Corey Kespert, Reha Chamora, Will Barton, or Kyle Kuzma. Can you really trade with Will Barton already? I say please. I would give up Corey Kespert, Rudy Hachimura, Kyle Kuzma, Isaiah Todd, Johnny Davis, all those guys, which I know it feels like it would leave them too small on the wing and leave them seriously depleted on defense. And not to mention a starting lineup with Morris, Beal, and Mitchell just seems too small to compete is one guy what he asked him. And again, I think we can use these arguments, these trade scenarios as well to apply them to Kevin Durant because the same package you would offer for Donovan Mitchell would probably be the same package you offer for Kevin Durant. Except, yeah, I think that'd be fine because everyone you're trading is kind of win now. So look. As the rumors persist that Washington is among the teams persisting or pursuing Mitchell, the athletic reported, it seems like it would be smart for the Wizards to trade for him, especially now that they want to try and double down on their win now goal by re-signing Bradley Beal. And I agree with Josh Robbins. I like Mitchell. And so if I had to pick, you know, between Mitchell or Durant, though, to build a team right now, it depends. Long-term play, obviously, Mitchell, but because he just he turn, he'll turn 26 in September. But again, Durant is more of a win now. Durant, if you trade for him, you are championship contenders. Mitchell, you're like, you're almost there, but you're not contenders. All right, but let's talk about Mitchell. So this pairing of Mitchell, Beal, and probably Porzingis would put up huge offensive numbers. And, oh damn, I'll have to remember that, this out. But, like I said, Wes, you know, Wes Unseld, could easily stagger Beal and Mitchell's minutes to ensure that the team always has one of those guys on the floor in the game at all time. So they're scoring, you know, their offense never takes a punch because, you know, that's something that happened. Their offense went stagnant last year. Now, obviously there would be some problematic problems with defensively with this this deal. And even though Mitchell's 6'1 one is a six foot nine wingspan, they, you know, he has some deficiencies defensively. And they were able, Utah, to hide those with Rudy Gobert, cleaning up everybody's mistakes and deterring drives to the hoop. And right now, the Wizards don't have anyone on the roster who's in the Gobert stratosphere. Obviously, Christoph Porzingis looked like a goddamn demigod before that. So I think when you look at this, if they bring Mitchell aboard, the team would have to obviously somehow... Re retool the roster to add enough defensive players, which they brought in DeLon Wright, who's a great defensive player in his own right. Okay, Taj Gibson, he's not going to really play anything, but Daniel Gaffer, Christoph Porzingis, you know, Denny Avdia, if they keep him, he's a good defender. And, you know, it depends. And right now, I don't think they have the cap draft capital for Danny Ainge. Washington can't trade its first round picks in 2025, 2027, 2029, or its picks in you know in 2026 and 2028 without the knicks agreeing to take the protections off the first round pick which uh, owes which washington owes new york in 2023 and the knicks would love to trade for mitchell themselves so they would probably be skeptical of doing something that helps the wizards trade for mitchell unless like they use this deal those picks to trade for durant then they would be fine so obviously could washington be involved in a three-team trade with Utah 
and New York that would see Mitchell going to New York. And what Josh Robbins says is that's more likely than Mitchell coming here. And I think, again, they should go after Durant. I'm going to continue saying this. And, you know, right here, there was a great little question. Is Isaiah Todd the second coming of Chris McCall McCollin? And... You got, I don't know if you guys remember Chris McCollin. He played for the Nets a few years ago. Was he a first-round pick, Chris McCollin? Dude, I don't even know where he's at now. Chris McCollin was, yes, he was the 29th pick. He played at IMG Academy. And, you know, Garrison Matthews has been freaking amazing. So, Isaiah Todd, Josh Robbins writes, six foot ten in sneakers with a 7 foot, almost 7 foot 2 wingspan. A little over 7 foot 1. And he seems like he could be a good 3 and D guy at the combo forward position. And they acquired Isaiah Todd in a five-team Russell Westbrook trade. And the Wizards knew that to develop Todd, who was really raw, was going to take some time. And they had to have patience. And he's going to be 21 in mid-October. Also, Isaiah Todd's a Baltimore native, so he's close to home. And he was the 31st pick. So, you know, he could be a diamond in the rough. Now, the Raptors and, you know, the Heat... And the Thunder all deserves props for their development of players. Now, the Wizards, if they can develop Todd, he could become a really good rotational role player for this team. I don't think a starter or a star, but I think this is a guy that they just want to take it slow. They just wanted a young guy on a, a team. But right now, it's, you know, Porzingis and Beal, if they peak, I think right here, if you look at this, Denny Avdia, Corey Kesper, Rui Hachimura, and Johnny Davis, is that this is, what's crazy about this is they drafted Troy Brown at 15, Rui at 9, Denny at 9, Corey Kesper at 15, and then Johnny Davis at 10. So they basically draft between 9 and 15 for like the last five years. And the thing is, is that between the 10 and 15 range, Giannis Antetokounmpo, Devin Booker, Zach Levine, Kawhi Leonard, DeMontis Sabonis, Clay Thompson, Bam Adebayo, and Mitchell were either not like in the last 15 years, you know. Those were old guys who were either drafted in that range or still available in that range. So there's a bunch of guys who have been drafted at after, you know, after that range, which I mentioned a bunch of those guys' names right there as well that were put in there. So... I mean, I, one could say they're not the best drafters. I think Denny Avdi is going to be good. Corey Kespert, he was just a shooter. We all knew that. Troy Brown was kind of a miss. Rui Hachimura, I kind of think that's a miss. And Johnny Davis, again, I think they should be trading for Kristoff. Not Kristoff. They should be trading Kevin Durant and having a big three of Kristoff, Beal, and my man, Kevin. I'm done.